So as you probably already know, Apple have recently released a new mouse um, called the Magic Mouse to replace the old Mighty Mouse. I recorded a video a couple of days ago giving my first thoughts on the Magic Mouse because I tried one in an Apple store. Now I own my own. I, I did order one. Um, and it arrived today really quickly actually because they only started shipping them about two days ago and UPS delivered this today so this is just going to be the unboxing of the magic mouse I keep wanting to call it a mighty mouse but the magic mouse and um, so this mouse um, you I won't go into too much detail because you you'll know everything about it already um, I'll just move this down I, I apologize for the bad camera angles on every video like this there's, there's not much I can do about it with this setup I have here so the magic mouse it's like a touch based mouse there's no physical buttons on it um, I can't figure out how to open this it's really small low profile looks really good um, we just have some form in the top here and presented nicely there the m magic mouse very cold um, although in form this bit there's not much in the box that seems to be everything so I'll just move that over there so this is sealed in a, well, it's not sealed but it's in a small bag you can see it in there that's really nicely packaged there seems to be some instructions on the back or oh, some information about it so it's again just like the mighty mouse it's a two button mouse and um, you can left click and right click even though it doesn't look like you can it's so it, it is touch sensitive it's you can scroll just by sliding your finger around it um, it has various gestures right now it's just swiping like two fingers left and right hopefully Apple will add more because this this magic mouse you can't squeeze it like you could with the mighty mouse um, so hopefully they'll add something to like replace that feature you can't middle click with this either because there isn't a physical scroll ball or scroll wheel in the middle of it so there's no middle click functionality on this mouse now if I can open this bit I'll get it out Just proving difficult as it usually is with products like this I wish Apple would learn how to make things easy to open. So this mouse, um, at least in this country, costs fifty-five pound from an Apple store. It, it, it comes with all the new iMacs as well. I really can't open this one. Try with scissors. I should get some kind of little knife to do things like this. With. <laughs> My video failing as usual. There, get a hold of it this time. And hopefully, I won't need to get that side. It was easier than I thought. Okay, there we go. Open it. So, m most people probably will find this. Uh, move this down further. Most people will probably find this mouse uncomfortable. Um, I think I will as well. I'll try and lift it out here. It's still attached to more stuff. There's some 
a tiny little booklet here. I found the magic, the Mighty Mouse uncomfortable when I first got it, but now, now I love the Mighty Mouse. Hopefully, I like this as just as much after I get used to it. So this is a very unique kind of mouse, um, and very innovative product here. I'm guessing it comes with batteries. I just need to peel some more things off. So just give me another ten minutes. There we go. <laughs> the mouse is out. Some marks on the bottom of where it's been stuck. Hopefully I'll just be able to wipe them off. Oh, they're on the bottom. It doesn't matter too much. So it's got... I believe this, these black bits are just plastic. Um, for it to slide on. Now if I hold it, that does slide around really well. Better than the Mighty Mouse, actually. Um, it's... So you can see there, this is the first time I've actually been able to hold one properly. Um, it's a, you got to say that's a beautiful mouse. There's there's no problems here with the way this looks. Possibly just with the the design. It's it's not very ergonomic. I, I'll probably be doing a, a better review on this later. So if I hold it, there's there's not really anywhere to put a lot of my fingers. But it's not too bad actually, because you can you can just rest your whole hand on there. Usually you'd hold, want to hold a mouse like that, but with Apple mice you you get used to just placing your hand down um, more, so, so you're not holding it up as much. So as as you can hear, it does. If I hold that to the microphone, it clicks. It does move down just like the Mighty Mouse. The whole shell moves down at once. Um, I believe you still need to lift your index finger off to right click. Scrolling on it is just basically that. Um, feels a bit. It, it's a, it's a bit. There's a lot of friction there. Um, that's that's what I meant. There, there's a lot of friction right now. Hopefully that will de well that that will decrease the more I use it and the the warmer it gets because this is really cold. It's just come out of the box. So I'll open these. I'm surprised I got this so quickly. It's very fast shipping. Okay, so some boring stuff there. So it, it's to use your Apple Magic Mouse um, update to Mac OS 10 version 10.6.2, um, which isn't out yet. Um, we're still on 10.6.1. It tells you to go and update it, but as far as I'm aware, they haven't released it yet. Pairing with a new Mac, um, and a new Mac, and using your Apple Magic Mouse, replacing the batteries, pairing with a different Mac. So I'll need to go to System Preferences and Bluetooth Setup, a new device to pair it properly. Um, it's got some information about cleaning it, um, ergonomics, for more information about ergonomics, health and safety, um, visit the Apple website there. Even though this mouse isn't, or well, maybe they've done research and maybe it is, but compared to the standard ergonomic mouse you get, the standard just mouse um, where each finger has somewhere to lie, this is quite different. So th this video is just an unboxing, I'll try and turn it on here. Um, I think it'll have batteries, yes, two Energizer batteries in there. So you can see a, a, a nice little switch there, then underneath it's, it's green, and then when you slide it down it's different colour didn't check so you can see the green when it's on and there's a tiny green LED there also so this uses laser tracking technology and not that there is there are more more there's more advanced ones out now 
there's better technology so it's a shame that they haven't used anything better but lasers fine for just on a desk and there's there's new ones out that can even be used on glass which is quite amazing but I, I won't be using it on glass so I'll just move this up again I'm not going to go through the setup process here it should be relatively straightforward though um, it's found the mouse I think Apple wireless mouse where it had found so it's found all sorts of blue to Bluetooth devices here attempting to pair with the mouse um, I didn't fully read the instructions connection established oh, it works it was as simple as that and that was basically four five clicks to get it and it was just open system preferences, open the Bluetooth preferences, click the little plus sign and click next a few times. That's how simple it was. So no worries there with pairing it if you get one. So my old wireless Mighty Mouse I'll use with my Mac Mini and get rid of the wired one. I'll just keep it as a spare one. So they're, they're, it's a similar size actually to the Mighty Mouse or the Apple Mouse as it's now called if I compare them put them next to each other so you can compare them the only difference being this is more rounded this is on the on the edges as I mentioned in my first thoughts video if I try and show you here just just along the edge it's not so much sharp it wouldn't hurt but it, it comes to a point so that that's what you're gripping really but you, you can get your fingers on the, the aluminium underneath which is very smooth so I'll, I'll give you my thoughts later on when I've had a chance to use this mouse properly I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video I'll just tidy all this stuff up lovely box it came in um, well presented as usual and it has that new apple smell if you've ever had a, a new apple aluminium keyboard um, you'll you'll know what I mean if you smelt it if you if you weird like me and you smell your keyboards when you buy them. Um, you <laughs> a anyway, my website jakewright.net. My email address um, is jake at jakewright.net. If you have any questions um, relating to this mighty not ma mighty mouse, it's a magic mouse. I've got to remember that magic mouse. Um, there is th there's a reason why um, Apple are now aren't calling it a mighty mouse anymore so I'll have to set this up so I can scroll and I can uh, um, do everything as usual it's scrolling is not working um, swiping is oh no it's not um, right clicking is anyway jakewright.net you'll find my blog my live stream so you can watch videos like this one and um, unboxings live and should be able to see the chat just below me here and um, you can come and join in with that um, so there's there's a whole community of Apple product lovers <laughs> in the chat at jakewright.net I've said that too many times thanks for watching